Jerry of the Circus. Jerry of the circus. Say, Kelly, in case something really should happen, is there anything we can do, I mean, to help the circus? I'm afraid not, Jerry. The only thing we can do now is be sure all the cages are safe and all the animals are tied. Gee, maybe I'd better warn Waddy. It'd be terrible if the horses got loose. And I don't think we should get everyone excited. So far, we've no way of being sure whether my hunch is right or wrong. Yeah, I suppose. Besides, if a cyclone or a tornado should hit this circus... No matter how hard we'd try to protect the animals, it'd twist things around like straws in the wind. Makes you feel pretty helpless. Yeah, I'll say. Back home during that tornado I was telling you about, a piece of straw was driven with such force it went right into a telephone pole. Oh, listen, I'm not that dumb. But it's the truth. I saw it. But it would have been when it hit the wood. Straw's so soft. That's just the point. It was driven with such terrific force that when it hit the wooden pole, it drove itself right into it. Honest, Kelly, I, I can hardly believe it. Say, look, there's the major. Well, something must be up. You don't often see him around this time of day. Yeah, he certainly looks excited about something. And it don't take much to get Major Might all stewed up. If he were a volcano, he'd be in a constant state of eruption. Yeah, but at his size, he'd probably turn out to be a bottle of soda pop and just this. And here he comes. Jerry, who do you suppose I just heard from? Well, I don't know, Major. Must be someone pretty important. You look kind of excited. I should say I am. The most terrible thing has happened. You'll never guess. Oh, hello, Kelly. Good morning, Major. Well, what is it? It's about someone we know and know very well, I might add. Who? They're not in trouble, I hope. What is it, Major? Well, I just this minute got this letter from Carmen. Gee whiz, she's all right, isn't she? You mean the little Spanish girl with the wire walking act? Yes, sir, that's the one. The trouble is, I don't know whether she's all right or not. It, it's awful. What happened? Well, that's what I can't find out. But what did she say? Well, she said she was working in the pictures with her brother. Yes, we all know that. That's why Mr. Randall let him go. Well, she said they were doing a bicycle stunt on a wire, and suddenly one of the reflectors blinded Carlos, and they fell, bicycle and all. Oh, go on. Good night, Major. Go on. What happened? Well, that's just it. I don't know. Uh, well, of all the silly things, there you are with the letter right in your hand, and you, you stand there doing nothing. Go ahead. Read what happened. Well, that's the trouble. I can't. You can't read? Oh, of course I can read, Kelly. Don't be stupid. Uh, but you just said... Oh, no, you see, she was so excited, she wrote the rest of it in Spanish. Why, well, you're kidding. <laughs> yeah, now, here, you read. Uh, well, it is foreign, all right. <laughs> of all the crazy things. I don't know when I've heard of anything so funny. Well, there's nothing funny about it. It is terrible. Just think anything might have happened to them, and we'll never know what. Well, at least you know it's over with, and she's well enough to write you a letter. Oh, well, I believe you're right, Jerry. That's funny. You know, I, I get so excited, I never thought of that. Besides, all you have to do is to go to someone who can read Spanish. Then you can find out all about it. Yeah, but who is the who speaks Spanish? Well, why not ask Rosa to translate it for you? Rosa? Oh, you mean Rosa Razzi. Sure, the fortune teller. 
She speaks Spanish, I know. Of course, she's a very clever woman, and did she is. That's just what I'll do. I'll go to her at once. Hey, Major. Yes? What do you want, my boy? When you find out what happened to Carmen, will you come back and tell us? Indeed, I will. I'll be right back. Well, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, of all the strange people in the world, that Major Mite takes the king. I'll say he does. <laughs> But he means well. Kelly! Hey, Kelly! Uh, right here. Uh, what do you want? We're having some trouble over at the menagerie top. Jeff said to tell you. Okay, Carl. I'll be right with you. Well, this is bad. Me animals are getting obstreperous. Gee, look. The, the sky's getting all kind of queer. See those funny yellow clouds piling up? Yeah, I'll see. Looks like we're in for a twister, all right. I sure hope it misses the circus, whatever it is. Yeah, don't we all? I better get rags quick. Uh, that's one thing, sure. Yeah, and I got to get back to me charges. Uh, well, so long, Jerry. So long. Here's hoping everything blows over. Yeah, blows over is right, me boy. Now I wonder where Rags is. <whistles> Rags? Hey, Rags! Hmm. Wonder where that little monkey could have gone. Rags? Uh, hi there, Jerry. I've been looking for you. Oh, hello, Whitey. I was headed for the horse top, but i got to get rags as soon as I can. Well, I, I won't keep you long. I just want to warn you about something. You do? Say, that's funny. That's what I was going to do, too. Kelly says the weather's kind of funny, and we might be in for a bad blow. So Kelly thinks so, too. Hmm? Well, I sure hope we're both wrong. Yeah, he, he was in a tornado once, and he says it started out all quiet and funny like this. I was and... afraid of that. Well, this is what I wanted to tell you, Jerry. Yeah, Whitey? If such a thing should happen, don't come near any of the animals. But taking care of the horses is part of my job. Sure, I know. But uh, if it should be an honest-to-goodness twister, there'd be nothing in this world we could do. Kelly said practically the same thing. Now, listen. There, there's quite an embankment back of the mess tent. Did you ever notice that? Sure. When we had breakfast this morning. All right. If you hear of either a cyclone or a tornado coming, you make a beeline for that embankment and lie down as flat and close to the ground as you possibly can. Gee... You really think we're in for it then, huh? Well, I don't honestly know. A thing like this may turn out to be nothing at all. But it's just as well that you know the right thing to do in case of an emergency. Gee, it's sure swell of you to warn me, Whitey. Okay, Jerry. Well, come on now. Let's get over to the horse top. Say, uh, do you mind if I get rags first? No, that's all right. Run along, Jerry. And then get on back here and we'll check the horses. Thanks, Whitey. I'll be right back. Uh, well, now, look what's headed this way. That's a break. <laughs> Hooray! Well, that's where you've been, with Mr. Randall. Well, good morning, Whitey. Hey, good morning, Mr. <laughs> uh, How's tricks, Jerry? <laughs> Gee, that's funny. I've been looking and asking all over about Rags. No wonder no one's seen him. <laughs> <laughs> down, Rags. Behave yourself. Well, I tell you, Jerry, Rags and I have been pretty busy. Yeah, we've been, been making a tour of inspection. You have? Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds kind of important. Well, I'm afraid it is. <laughs> Uh, everything in shipshape, Whitey? Uh, yes, sir. Don't worry about me and the horses, sir. Oh, I don't have to, Whitey. I, I know that you'll do everything you can. Mm. Say, Mr. Randall, some of the men are talking. They mm -hmm. say the weather's bad, like it's uh, ready for a twister or something. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, that's why I'm checking things over pretty carefully. The Weather Bureau has sent out reports that a tremendous wind is heading in from the northwest. That sounds bad, Mr. Randall. Yeah. Gee whiz. Say, talk of wind. Isn't one coming up now? That's right. Look at those clouds. Mm, they're all stringy and yellowish. Yeah, yeah. Looks bad. Mm, what about the show? Oh, well, we'll go on unless there's a real blowdown. Yeah, it's like you. Your first thought, the show must go on. Well, that's our business, Whitey. A good show on schedule, regardless of inconvenience to ourselves. You bet that's the ticket. Isn't it right? Uh, <laughs> the, the one thing that would prevent us playing would be anything that might endanger the safety of the audience. Hey, what's up? Huh? Jason's running across the backyard. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, hello there, Jason. Anything wrong? I'm afraid so, Mr. Randall. Yeah? I've been looking all over for you. Well, well, nothing nothing serious, I hope. It looks like that Black Panther's going bad. Oh, are, are you sure of this, Jason? Well, all the cats have been jumpy this morning, and, well, of course, streaks hard to handle at any time, uh -huh. but... Kelly says his animals have been all nervy today, too. Well, it's uh, probably got something to do with the strange weather we're having. Well, I don't know about that, but... Suddenly, he just seemed to go to pieces. Gee, we'd sure hate to miss out on watching Streak. Mm, I should say. Yeah, it's one of the best turns in the show. Honest, I get a chill every time he leaps through that burning hoop. Yeah, so does the audience. Well, uh, uh, Jason, you, uh, you'd better use your own judgment today. If uh, all the animals are on edge, it's to be expected that that panther would uh, take it harder than the rest. I wouldn't want to ever fall down on you, Mr. Randall. Oh, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about you, at least, but... This weather business sure is pretty... It's funny out, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, we'll be lucky if we give a show at all today. Oh, Jerry, Jerry! Oh, oh hiya, Major. We're over by the horse stand. Uh, see, uh, 
Uh, folks, don't mention anything to him about a possible windstorm. There's no use having a lot of unnecessary excitement. Yeah, he gets worked up bad enough when things are calm. Yeah. Oh, say, Jerry, I just found out. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Randall. Hello, Major. Hello. Say, that Rosa Rotsy's one smart little fortune teller. She translated that letter from Carmen just as easy. Oh, uh, Carmen Bendini? Oh, yes. She and I carry on our great correspondence. I'll say he got a letter from her. <laughs> uh, it's no laughing matter, I'll have you know. I should say not. Uh, what about that accident, Major? Uh, accident? Was she hurt? The three of them were doing that bicycle stunt. Yeah, you say, now, off... wait a minute. Who's telling this? Who got this letter? I'd like to know. But quick, tell us what happened. Well, as you know, Jerry, Carlos got blinded or something by those bright lights they use in the picture. Yeah, and while they were in the center of the wire, they fell off. Gee whiz, Major, won't you tell us how they are? Well, of all things, here I'm trying to. You see, you... Mr. Randall, mm. she got so excited when she wrote that, well... She told him this much and then wrote the rest in Spanish. Oh. Yeah, that's why I had to have Rosa translate it. Well, uh, how is she, Major? Well, what happened? Well, it seems that they were making a close-up of the act, yeah. so when they fell... Yeah, well... They only fell two feet. What? Two feet? Uh, but they do that act at the top of the tent. Sure. They did it that way, too, for what she calls a long shot. But for the close-up, they stretched the wire close to the ground. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, I don't mind telling you I was worried. Well, what about me? How do you think I felt? My beautiful calm. Oh, all the good jokes. She sure put it over on you that time, Major. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'll say. I'm afraid she kidded you that time, Major. Kidded me? Common? Certainly sure not. She, she did. She, she wrote right up to where they fell and then put the rest in Spanish on purpose. Oh, if I thought that, I'd... I'm sorry. Speechless. That's what I am. Now, never mind, Major. We men don't mind being fooled by a beautiful woman, do we? Well, of course I, not. I, uh... It shows they like you when they bother to play a stunt like that. Of course, of course. That's exactly it. Oh, I forgot. Why? Of course. The most important. Or it may be the worst catastrophe in the world. It's so bad. Well, even Rosa couldn't be sure what it was all about. Uh, what, what in the world are you talking about, Major? Well, while we were talking, all of a sudden, Rosa let out a cry and called your name, Mr. Randall. My name? She did? Y yes, sir. She said something terrible was going to happen. All of a sudden, she saw our circus burst into a million pieces. Yes, sir. Then she began to cry because she saw Mr. Randall going around, trying to put them together again like a jigsaw puzzle, and he couldn't. Because lots of the pieces was lost. Say, that's awful. What does it mean? 